This is HP 250G6 with no display, broken case, but the motherboard is still working. I got this machine a couple of months ago, but I have a different plans, like turning this laptop into a desktop. But about two weeks ago, I found another laptop for parts. And this is also HP 250G6. Here the display is fine, the case is repaired but in a average condition, and this laptop is with a dead motherboard. Also this G6 model is coming with a different motherboard. I think it's coming with Intel Celeron CPU or something similar. But anyway, the both laptops look the same, only there are minor difference in the case. I have to do some small cleaning here, because I cut some plastics and the case is a little sticky. Actually this machine is liquid damaged, I mean from some soda, I mean like cola or Pepsi, and a little sticky from the sugar. And fortunately only the bottom of the laptop is affected and the motherboard. The keyboard, the trackpad, the speakers and the other parts are still fine. Also try to repair the old motherboard, but with no success. The motherboard is too damaged. Anyway, it's going to be good for some parts only. After I finish with disassembling, I move to cleaning. And first I start with the motherboard. This HP G6 belong to one of my friends and he used it in his garage or workshop. So basically the laptop was just to play music, browsing the web, I mean just the basic stuff and not paying much attention. The display on this machine isn't broken, but he broke the display to some other laptop. I mean to other laptop with better specs and then he took out this display from the laptop and placed it there. And after that he gave this laptop to me. Here, if you need for some parts, and the motherboard is still fine, so probably you can do something with it. The other HP laptop I got it from other place. The laptop was selling us for parts, and the seller told me that the motherboard is dead. He probably took this laptop to some store and checked it first. But the other parts, as the display, the keyboard and the others, are good. Also, I got this laptop for about 4 euros which is pretty ok. The display is perfectly fine, I got 1TB disk and 4 gigs of RAM as well. And the case is in a verge condition, I saw that the case is a little bit repaired, but still better than the old one. Also here I have done some other changes, like some small repairs, I removed some other parts because to feed the motherboard from the other HP, but anyway, for price of 4 euros and some work, I will make something nice and useful again. After I finish with cleaning and doing some modifications, I move to assemble the laptop. Here I start with the smaller parts and cables first. And here, as primary disk, I will use 250GB Samsung EVO. 
and 250 gigs isn't much, but it's going to be okay for some basic things. The one terabyte disk is still fine. I have done some tests and all is good. Now here, instead of CD-ROM, I will use Disk Caddy and I'm going to use this one terabyte disk as secondary disk. So here we have SSD as the primary disk and one terabyte disk as the secondary disk or data disk. But one more thing isn't fitting here, the bottom case. From the great G6 has a VGA port and the other case has no VGA port. So here, even if I modify the case, probably I won't make good as the original one. The bottom case from the great G6 is a different color and here I need to do some additional changes. So first I took all the removable plastics. Then I washed the case using soap and water and I recleaned the whole case using isopropyl alcohol. And after cleaning using a black made spray, I turned the gray case into a black one. I paint the case because I don't want to have some difference here and bad aesthetics. After the case gets dry, I mount the case to the laptop. I place the final screws. I place the secondary disc and the bottom rubbers. Again, I have done one more shining up to remove the dust and the fingerprints that I made while assembling. And the laptop is ready to go. Now, I cross over more testing and installing Windows. On this machine, I install Windows 10 Home. I go with the Windows 10 Home because this motherboard has already connected a Windows 10 Home license. After install Windows, I continue with installing the laptop drivers, some basic softwares and making some customization. And after I make some changes to this laptop, this is the final result. And a couple of words about this HP G6. This is more office or some basic home laptop. This machine has Windows 10. 6th generation Intel i3 CPU, 8GB of DDR3 RAM and 2 disks. This configuration is good for most basic things, like doing some light or basic jobs with Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel or some other similar things. The web browsing to this laptop is going just fine, so this laptop is good to watch some videos and movies, listening to music, and because of HDMI and VGA port, we can connect an additional monitor or connect the laptop to a TV. The battery in this laptop is still keep pretty well. In use, the battery keeps about 1 hour and 20 to 25 minutes, which is pretty good considering the age of the laptop. The gaming on this basic machine is possible as well, but not actual gaming. This is a basic specs laptop. And here I can play some low requirement games. I try to play GTA 5, but the frame rate is constantly below 30, even using low settings. But some other low requirement games are going just fine. Well, and this is all about this HP 250 G6. And I'm very glad because I backed this machine in function again. This laptop isn't something powerful but still great for some daily basic tasks. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back some stuff in function again or make something better. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.